Some people think that tapirs are some kind of pig, but that's not the case. Actually, their closest relatives are rhinos and horses. I'm your host, Romy Casanino, and I'm a conservation scientist, writer, and photographer. Every week, we'll be introducing you to new animals caught on camera traps around the world. The lowland tapir, also known as the South American or Brazilian tapir, is found in a variety of habitats from grasslands to rainforests. This animal is one of the largest mammals in South America, and they can live up to 30 years in the wild. Tapirs are largely nocturnal and are fantastic swimmers. Even though adult tapirs aren't very colorful, baby tapirs are born covered in spots and stripes. They probably use this pattern as camouflage against the predation of big cats. After five or six months, the spots and stripes will slowly fade until they're completely gone. The tapir is a herbivore, and its diet consists mainly of fruit, berries, and leaves. They're considered a keystone species because they are great seed dispersers. As tapirs wander through the forest eating fruit, they poop out the seeds, spreading them to new locations. We can't talk about tapirs without mentioning their snouts. Tapirs have a long, flexible, prehensile snout, which is perfect to grab leaves and branches. Sometimes they even use their mini trunks as a snorkel when swimming. How amazing is that? In the world, there are four known species of tapir, and unfortunately, all of them are considered to be endangered. The lowland tapir is considered to be vulnerable due to habitat loss and illegal hunting. Next week, we'll be meeting an animal that its scientific name means nose in Latin. Tell us in the comments if you know what animal it is. See you next week.